Hello, everybody. Welcome to FPS Friday. My name is Aaron Sampson, the man who's just all up in your grill, Ryan Sherbert. It's, it's Sherbert, right? No. It might be Ryan Schubert. Um, today we're going to be looking at Sniper Ghost Warrior 2 Siberian Strike. We're going to strike Siberia. Yep, just like a union. Siberia is going to die. We are literally going to shoot Siberia like that meteorite did. In the face. Right in Siberian's face, wherever that is. <laughs> we're going to find out. Uh, last week we had a request that Ryan Schubert be the one playing. Mm -hmm. And I thought this, yeah. was, this was the perfect game for it. Being as <laughs> I, I haven't played it before. Being as I like to play <laughs> Sniper Ghost Warrior like it's Call of Duty, and that did not please people. Yes. <laughs> so why don't we go ahead and get this game fired up? Uh, this is DLC out now. It was ten dollars on Steam. This one kind of snuck in under the radar. I feel like Sniper Ghost Warrior has a large following, but they were very quiet about this DLC when it came I'm gonna, out. I'm gonna rock casual because I. I think you want to go at least medium because the. The automatic spotting dot takes okay. a little bit longer to appear. Let's listen. But in. I need that dot. Oh, uh, I remember when Juliet was 14 hours old. <laughs> oh, this is three months prior to the Philippines. Interesting plot point for the story I don't remember at all. This is bigger. Mm -hmm. There's a cell group mm -hmm. in the Russian military which focuses solely on arms research and development. Gear, advanced drone avionics, and AI. Oh, do we get to jump from a satellite like uh, that dude for, for Red Bull? JSOC sent in a <laughs> posing as lab personnel to infill the ghost town research base located in Bursabit. So, maybe we'll just fall DLC. How recent is this? This came out. Can we just say recently? <laughs> we can just say recently. <laughs> it was Tuesday? Okay. It really snuck in there. It came with uh, also two new multiplayer maps no slash modes. Yeah, let's let, we're gonna let people like listen in. That being said, if you get caught, as we fall from impossible. orbit mm -hmm. to that location, it goes flat. Signal, the, end of the game and extract the intel. I think what they're saying is don't run around like it's Call of Duty. Don't run around like Aaron does. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, so I think this came out on Tuesday. Like I said, it kind of snuck in under the radar. It also includes two new multiplayer maps, which I think brings it up to a grand total of like four maps now, post-launch. But one of them is Temple Crossing, um, which takes place in Nepal, I believe. It's got like the Buddhist flags and the towers and you can cross. And then the other one's the tower defense. It's on a similar looking map where you're actually stuck in your in your tower and all you can do is go vertical right. and try and find other people who are stuck in their towers. So I actually liked that mode. I thought it was a lot of fun. I tried it out. I was better in that than the other one. <laughs> it's all about, you know, taking your shot without being too exposed to the other towers. And then the minute you take your shot, just hiding for a few minutes because right. everybody then is going to all turn their gaze on you. Well, considering the match is an hour long, uh, there's there's no problem with hiding out for a few minutes. I mean, there's no question the Sniper Ghost Warrior 2 multiplayer fills a very specific niche. Yeah. If you are somebody who likes to run and gun, it is not your niche. It is for people who are very slow, methodical, I don't know, more chess players of the shooter world. Although I did find that there was, you know, like with, say, five players on either team, there was like one or two people that would always go across. To, like that was probably in the um, temple crossing mode because in the tower defense mode you cannot actually cross um, I'm also in the chat right now yes I, we're live on twitch I hear you scroll back who says I am math I think he's referring to mathematically shooting people with a sniper rifle Lucky for you, this game on medium actually has a dot that tells you exactly where the bullet is going to go. Two. Where are the dudes? Oh, there's a dude. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. Uh, Amperage21 says the meteor exploded in air. So it exploded over the face of Siberia. Te sort of technically not in the face of Siberia. Three. Not on the it's face. Three centuries. 
Okay. Now I have to put away my money. So I can just uh All right. take out whoever I want here. Tear JP or Tear Hey P, depending on what language this is. Uh, it says you are much less guided in the DLC than the main game, which I think was a criticism some people had. Oh, really? Was it like just far too handholdy? I remember been. when we did it before, it definitely seemed like the difficulty levels weren't. I don't know. Because you played on hard at one point? Or no, 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 you're playing on medium. I think the main Ghost Warrior 2 campaign was not hard. I mean, it kind of the reason that I was able to play it in a Call of Duty style. Oh, oh. oh your eyeballs are already <laughs> out of your head. Oh, that was horrifying. <laughs> that man. That guy, you know he, what? We did him a favor. He saw that bullet coming, and his <laughs> eyes bugged out before the shot ever got there. <laughs> he was a freakish Siberian I think soldier. we have just found our screen grab for this uh, when we put it up <laughs> on our side. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Come on. Uh, Zombies Will Pay says, was there, wait, was there another meteor over Russia? We're talking about the meteor strike that happened... Oh hell, I don't know my dates very well. It happened a long time ago, in, in the last century. Flattened 700 miles of forest, or 800 miles of forest, and nobody even noticed, because it exploded over such an unpopulated area. Oh no, I alerted him. Uh -oh. Somebody in the forums helped me out here with the name of that, or else I will have to Google it. Does he have binoculars? Oh, oh sorry about that, buddy. Walk it off. Oh, look at this guy. He's trying to be clever. No Live Gamer says <laughs> he was like, I see you. I don't Does anybody out there remember the uh, that meteorite that exploded over Siberia? What the name of that was? If Google, if Google's in the chat. Google yeah, right Matt Smith A3. I think it was Tunguska. <laughs> Eminent Stranger says Chernobyl. That might that was a different type of explosion. <laughs> that was a man-made explosion. Yeah, Tunguska, that was it. It literally flattened like a couple hundred miles of forest and nobody noticed because Russia is basically like not populated in vast portions of the wilderness. Got dudes on my radar. 1908 is the year. Thank you to everybody for looking that up. Ah, Frib, Frib, not so into his Ghost Warrior. What is it about the Ghost Warriors that you do not like? Frib, bib, bib. GS Dan. I know that guy. He is sitting like 15 feet away from me. It says 80 million trees over 830 square miles. Because trees must die went behind zombies will pay uh this is dlc um i don't know if you mean sniper ghost warrior 2 as being better than sniper ghost warrior 1 um this is dlc a couple hours of dlc for sniper ghost warrior 2 called siberian strike and it's also it adds two new uh, maps to multiplayer with one new mode What are these guys doing? Are they just like peeing together? I gotta corner? say, I actually really do like the um, multiplayer in this game, but they they kind of, I don't know, half-assed it on launch. They only had like two maps. Yeah, there weren't a lot of maps, but I mean... They weren't really trying that hard. I feel like they could have made it a lot better, and I think, you know, with this DLC, they're, at, they're upping it to like four maps now, which is still kind of under under what you would expect for multiplayer but it's better I'll, I'll, I'll say it it's better I think that's that X might not be a living person no it's two living people that are facing different directions are you playing this in a stealthy manner oh shit oh shit hey. uh, now it's too late oh no now it's on now I'm gonna have to uh I mean, a stranger says it's too much like Sniper Elite. I got my sniping fix from that game. You know, the weird thing is in Sniper Elite... Oop, there he is. <laughs> the weird thing with Sniper Elite is I tried playing the multiplayer in that, in that, and 
they didn't let you cross the center line a lot of times and it was in that combined with the um cover mechanic basically led a lot of people to just hide all the time and it was really not exciting people were just like stuck behind their cover and would rarely peek out for more than a second whereas sniper ghost warrior 2's multiplayer you're in first person shooter mode so anytime you're peeking out um you don't have the third person camera to look over an obstacle so you're exposing yourself and that because of that matches moved more quickly oh god has a lot of people. A lot of dudes. Hope there hope there are some explosive so barrels. The way that you're sp supposed to play this is to figure out the pattern everybody has and not alert anybody. Um, but this game is very forgiving if you just want to go in guns blazing. Can I ask maybe just a stupid practical question? But what are Hesco's doing down here? Uh, the full of snow. <laughs> <laughs> Snow cones. They're making. They're making snow cones. There's your answer, sir. <laughs> All right. That man is so ready to get shot in the back of the head. That man is so distracted. Looks like you got people right below you too. Oh yeah. I, there's uh, no live gamers asking if we can play some multi after single. We would be more than happy to. Sure. I will warn you. Multi is though. I mean, it's very the it's pacing. Slow. The pacing is slow, which is what we like. It doesn't necessarily play all that well when people are watching it but we would be happy to show it i mean i think it's definitely like you say it's got like a good it's it's good for it's like kind of niche yeah thing that it provides because you know if you like sniping there aren't a lot of games that give you that uh, it looks experience. like you can take that guy He's just all cold you need to put him out of his misery yeah i think i might have to try. length of the dlc is listed as a couple of hours we haven't gotten to the end of it yet uh, that's also going to depend on how you play it um, oh, oops. If you play it like I do, I don't think it'll be a couple hours. <laughs> if you play it like Ryan's playing it, which is how you're supposed to play it, it's probably a couple hours. You know, if you take the time to figure out the patterns and try and do a no alert scenario. All right, can let's, I, let, can let's I get a twofer? Let's get to shooting dudes in their unprepared. Oh, I can't get a twofer. You, you what would, if, I, if I wait? You, you could have. Should I go for a twofer? It depends how oh, far oh, that oh, 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 depends oh, how far oh, that oh, man oh. is going to walk. Uh, Ambridge twenty one is pointing out that we gave the game a seven. Oh, 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 oh no! Well, seven's a pretty good score. Yeah, seven's actually a good score. I'm just looking up our actually worked on that review. I was the one who cut it. Oh. Also, I griefed the hell out of that game, so a lot of the like funny footage of bad things happening in that game was me playing. <laughs> oh, shit. Me. I gotta take them fast before they flank. Alright, now you just gotta do it. How are they gonna yeah. flank? So yeah, I mean, our, our 7.0 is literally a good score. There you go. Now you gotta play it like I play it. <laughs> oh, well, damn. So yeah, no, we, we said that this game was good, and I, I definitely stand by that. You know, it definitely had issues, and it definitely had bugs, but... Um, again, it, it fills a niche that other games don't really fill. You know, games have sniping levels, but very few games actually have you sniping the entire time. Um, Narfbot V2 says, shoot the flaming can. It makes you win, I promise. Does it? Shoot the flaming can. Is that guy still warming his hands by the fire? Did you already no, kill him? No, he freaked out. Yeah. Uh, Everybody's just freaking out. Just cause some, freaking out? Just you're about to... Oh, you're getting spotted. You're getting spotted. He's down there. Where is Straight he? down on the bridge. Or you can just wait until you get shot. Oh, there, yep, there. there, there is. There, there we go. Why would you stand still for me like that? Why would you do that? Yeah. 
Rally of the Strange says, what feature of the game do you dislike and how do you feel the developers could improve the game? I don't know. It's kind of a... I, the only thing I really ran into is I broke the game a couple times. Like one time the kill cam zoomed out and I was in third person <laughs> and the game is not supposed to be in third person. <laughs> um, I can see that. I, I mean, I would definitely Just add... Checking. I would definitely add a lot more multiplayer maps because I do really enjoy multiplayer in this game. Um, I am somebody who appreciates the fact you can play this Call of Duty style or not. It's your choice. I kind of like that, but I think other, I don't know if other people feel the same way about it. Is he just like hiding right down there? Moomin says, hey, a game spot and chat. Hi, welcome. We are playing Sniper Ghost What's Warrior up, 2 everybody? Siberian Strike. We are literally striking all of Siberia with our bullets. Oh, so the last guy will cower. That's part of the AI in this game. So he knows he's by himself. He knows he's by himself. He's going to cower until you put him out of his misery, so I wouldn't worry about it. I don't, think he, I don't think he can open that door. Um, also, their multiplayer, you don't unlock the weapons. It just gives them all to you. It's always nice to have you know, a reason to keep pl playing to level up weapons and stuff like that. So, you know, I, I think most of my criticism of this game just had to do with not having a robust enough multiplayer. But, yeah, no, I'd love to hear from people in the chat who played the single-player campaign. What would you do to bump the score up from a good to something great? Where is this guy? Big Boy oh, there he is. 104 says, I'm looking forward to Metro Last Light. We uh, have that in the office right now. We are working on a review. I think I'm going to be cutting that for Monday. So we will bring that to you next week. Oop. In the shoulder. Not sure shoulder hit really deserves. Was that guy's name Siberia? Because you... <laughs> <laughs> I just struck his ass. You just struck his ass. Um... Moomin says, I haven't played this game, but I've heard the enemy can spot you far too easily. Uh, I think they corrected that, actually, I don't know. I with feel Ghost like Warrior 2. I feel like I've been spotted far too easily. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, again... I'm running around making a lot of noise and all, but... But again, you know, this game, I think, is going for a little bit more of a challenging edge, which is why it's so easy for them to spot you. There is an easy mode, though, so, I don't know, it's not really an obstacle. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. Scroback wants to know if we have any insights about Metro. Unfortunately, I can't talk about it right now. But I promise you, I, I think I am going to be cutting the video hey, review. Hey, hey, found some Stoli. I think I'm going to be cutting the video review on Sunday. Um, you know, people in the office seem to be really enjoying it. So I, I will try and have that up for you Monday morning. Um, so that you guys can get the full full scoop on Metro, and then we'll also, I'm sure we're going to bring streaming of that next week as well. Some other things I've been checking out lately, I went back and took a look at the Ghost Recon Online's update. Um, that was my favorite free-to-play game of last year, just because I felt like it was a different type of shooter. And they have a firing range that they added on, which I think think is like a must-have for all games now every game should have firing range because you can look at weapons that you haven't purchased yet or like aren't high enough level to purchase and take them to the firing range um, and play with them and it gives you a huge incentive to want to earn, earn those weapons or not you know I mean maybe you thought it was the best gun in the game and you hit the firing range and you, you, you read all the stats and then you take it to the firing range and it turns out you don't like it at all so um, yeah, I kind of hope all games in the future include the firing range component that Ghost, Ghost Recon Online just brought in. And it, it brought it over from Future Soldier. I thought that was a great feature. Yeah. See what 55 is asking if we have sound. We may have to turn it up a little bit just because this is a stealth game. <laughs> There's lots of sneaking going on. You can also knife a dude. What's my knife button? You know, I gotta say that 
for the only couple of hours I've played this game that the minimap scale just throws me off. How so? Well, I feel like looking at my minimap that I should be looking directly at two dudes right now. Well, I think they're behind the rock. Well, for them, but... Yeah, I think it's just that the rock terrain isn't, isn't there. Sunbeam Force says a Stalingrad sniper game would be nice. I think you were sort of talking about a maybe a mod for Red Orchestra too. <laughs> His buddy did not notice that. All right, you gotta knife this dude. All right, now how do I do? I don't know. Try E. I, I try your knife button. There you go. All right, Schubert, for the knife. Oh, shit. Big Boy 104 says, too bad GTA 5 doesn't release on PC. Oh. oh. I tried. You just Battlefield 3 single player at that <laughs> moment. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Ah, so GTA 5 not releasing on PC day one. Is that the case? That's too bad. Yeah, I I can't wait for the next generation of consoles to come out just because I went over to PC gaming this year, and now I get it. I, I really have a hard time playing on consoles. Um, it's kind of like when you went from standard definition to high definition back in the day. You didn't really get it until you tried to switch back to standard definition, and then like your brain was just like, something is wrong here. Yeah. Oh, and the chin. That guy will not need any dental surgery anytime soon. Heffern says, would you guys recommend this game? I would say that depends on what you like out of your shooters, I guess. But I, I actually did very much enjoy playing Sniper Ghost Warrior 2. We gave this game a good score. Um, it had definitely had some bugs. And the single or the multiplayer, I think only is, is only up to four maps now, which is a little bit substandard. But... It fills a niche that I love, which is the sniping niche, um, which is something you cannot really force people to do in most other games. Most other games don't have a pure sniping mode, and as soon as you involve other types of weapons, sniping goes right out the window. Uh, Badaus is asking if we're going to review the DLC. Uh, I, I don't think we have it on our schedule for review right now. We are too busy with some Metro Last Lights and some Dust 514. And I'm just speaking personally, but <laughs> I could not stand Dust 514. It definitely has a pretty high barrier of entry. It's like uh, just the kind of hard to pick up and play. Yeah, the interface was just way, way, way too complicated for a shooter. It's like a barrier between you and the shooter as opposed to like something that in enhances the experience and last i checked you you like your weapons expend every round you have to like buy an assault rifle every single round actually i think it's every time you die you lose it you lose your assault rifle every time you die yeah. you have to buy like a five or ten pack of assault rifles yeah. it's mm -hmm. just the most ridiculous concept ever in a shooter i mean actually i think I don't think it's that bad of an idea because it's kind of interesting to have like the idea that like your equipment actually is a sort of commodity. Um, this dude just on the other side. Of um, RT Webray says your mini map has a scale, 274 meters. It says in the bottom there. I see. Can I adjust that then? The murderer is uh, not appreciating Sniper Ghost Warrior at the moment. All right, let's do this. Now do his friend. <laughs> that dude's like, what? I'm going to go check out my buddy who just got shot. I, I do think they could improve the AI. Oh, take a look at that. That was a, a sad scene there. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I do think they still could improve the AI, the AI a bit in this game. They tend to do a couple of different actions. Yeah. He, he, he teabagging that poor man's body. They do tend to do a couple of like actions to get predictable after a while. Or like one time in the Sniper Ghost Warrior 2, I took on a squad of like 40 dudes, but they refused to walk past a certain like doorway on the level. So I was able, like if they had all charged me, there was no way I would ever have survived it, but I could stand all the way in the back of the map. And the AI was only willing to advance so far. So you, you, you exploited the... Uh... Exploited some AI. It's like my favorite thing to do in these games. RT Webray says, funny thing, real snipers don't aim for headshots. That is probably because it's a lot easier to miss a small target. Well, I don't know why they don't, because the animation's rad when you get a headshot. <laughs> Going for the uh, no alert scenario here. I blew that a long time ago. Uh, th this, this pack of dudes is not alerted, so like the whole level doesn't go on alert it's just the local area all right go shoot some dudes or you may just have to start playing this game like i do <laughs> yeah i may have to why don't we just do that let's just do that for the sake of streaming we are just going to burn through some dudes with a sniper rifle <laughs> okay, Weejbo008008 says, this stream is making me feel violent. <laughs> so video games do cause violence, I guess. Or stream, maybe streaming causes violence. Oh, hell, now it's cleanup time. Oh, hell, now it's time for me to have fun. You know, I'm supposed to enjoy myself. Now I'm supposed to enjoy this. You got one guy left. Cowering in his boots. Where is he? Where is this guy? Right, right there. Oh. Gotta count for the bullet drop, my friend. Actually, not bullet drop, just the, the movement. Oh, I jump shot at him. That's all. <laughs> See if you can do a 360 no scope. That will <laughs> round out your sniping experience. <laughs> yeah, let's just start. Let's just start blazing through these levels. I think people get the idea of how you're supposed to play this game and also how you can play this game. Four twenty no scope, blaze it. Says my dog A three six. Gonna throw this out there. He's probably gonna smash his head into a table. Hey, I'm talking. To no way. Who let you in here? Nobody smashes heads into tables in these games. Boom! Oh. <laughs> Score one for the head in the table. I can go all day. So have a good think what you're gonna say before you open your mouth again. What's going on here? Well, the heavy gear in a research Maybe station. you or someone else can uh, answer the question. Is the is the 226 the only handgun in this game? Or is there who uh... authorized this? Well, in the first game, you would go back and forth in time. Mm -hmm. So you, you were going back to the 90s. And I think when you're back in the 90s, the weapon switched. OK. KT Webray says, smash a beaker on his head. Where is it going? I so wish, like, in, uh, what was it, uh, Splinter Cell Conviction had, like, the interrogation scenes where you'd, like, be holding somebody and then you'd, like, it would say, like, you know, press X to interrogate. Yeah. And, like, drag them over to something and, like, smash their face on it. Oh, acid burn to the face. That's what you get. Oh, is there a um, little Russian doll in here? Come on. Yeah, I was collecting hula dolls in the not DLC. Oh, this is disappointing. Eh. There you go, you got the animation, at least. <laughs> that guy was. Oh, there's a lot of angry people. That guy was outside. cooking so much meth in that room. <laughs> 
Med kits? Who needs med kits? Scrollback says, so that guy becomes Two Face. Pretty sure that's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> that's the plot. Sure. Oh god, you're spotted so quickly. Yeah, Russia Klishnaya. Watch out. I speak Russian, right? Son of a bitch. Oh, I'm running out of bullets. <laughs> I gotta be more careful. I'd, let's throw this one to the crowd. Who should the next great bad guy be? It's like, we're, we think we've been on Russia for quite a while now. Um, we, Ta oh, now come <laughs> on. Damn. Take your time, sir. What? What? This okay. guy. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, go to your pistol, see what happens. That man is invincible right now. Dude, go. Rick Guitarist says probably North Korea. See, my problem with North Korea being the bad guy is their missile is called the Typo Dong, and I just can't take that seriously. I mean, if a man's gonna shoot a type of dong at me, <laughs> I just. I don't know if I can take that as a serious threat. How do I use medkits? Oh, ammo. Hey, uh. I guess it's not ammo for... North Korea or China. So I think China is the new faction in Battlefield 4. So I think you will get your wish for China to be one of the factions that you fight against in shooters of the next oh, I get you. year or so. I swear to God, though, if there's one more nuke plot, <laughs> I'm just done. I think I will leave. Put, just hang my hat up forever. <laughs> Yeah, you know, the so new plots one, one are freaking getting... more new plot. Oh, oh, I need to uh, find my med kit button. You need to throw grenades, not that you have them. <laughs> but if you had them, that'd be a good spot for grenades. China will shoot an EMP at America. I think you were actually talking about a game called Homefront 2 that is being developed. It's North Korea that shoots it, but yes. Uh, Homefront 2... Oh, Home, the ammo. Homefront 1 definitely had the EMP slash North Korea invasion of America. I actually really liked that game. I thought that that game got drone warfare right. Uh, way more so than Black Ops 2. I think Black Ops 2 started on the drone warfare idea and then just kind of wussed out on it. Crisis 1 was in North Korea, right? Ricky Guitar said Homefront had really good multiplayer. It, it, it was good enough that we actually streamed that a couple of months ago, yeah. And it, there was still like a lot of people playing it. We downloaded it on the 360 and there was quite a few people still in it. There's a lot of wind here. I feel like you should be getting cold by now. No, no, no. Ghost warriors don't get cold. Eminent Stranger says, I want a World War II experience on next gen. I'm tired of modern warfare, and the new tech will give us more realistic experiences. Um, I encourage you to check out um, Rising Storm, which we, we streamed that two weeks ago. Um, it's a uh, standalone expansion pack. It's in going into... They're almost in open beta right now. Um, and playing on your PC, if you have a nice one, is pretty much already like playing on next gen. I'm not... How do I use my med kit? I'm not super thrilled about... You know, the, the graphics ability they're talking about right now for next gen consoles. We'll see how that turns out. Or whether, you know, developers always squeeze more out of consoles than they do out of PCs. Just because they have limited you know, hardware that they're working with, so maybe it'll end up being a lot cooler. But, you know, I feel like they have to sell us on next-gen consoles at this stage. How do I use med, med kit? I'm just going to button There that. you go. You hit it. That was, med, <laughs> that was the med kit button. Oh, there he is. So maybe we'll get a little bit deeper in this level, and then we'll hop over to multiplayer and check that out. 
Um, the other thing that we have queued up today, if you guys want to see it, is Receiver. It is a roguelike indie title where you basically run around this randomly generated world that, that is very simple. It feels like Shadowrun, but you have to like manually operate every action of the gun, which basically makes it a very difficult game and makes you realize how gamey guns are in most games. So we can check that out in a bit. If this... It's a pretty clever concept, actually. Yeah. Where's my prone? Prone it. I, don't, I have a feeling like I didn't really need to do that. Heffern's asking, do you guys know about any good PCs that are already made or built? It's, you know, it's it's weird. These days when you're shopping for PCs, it's not like you can walk into Best Buy anymore and pick out a gaming rig. There's not a lot of places you can go and actually look at a gaming PC anymore, if any. Are there any places you can go and look at a gaming PC these days? Uh, I do not know the answer. I mean, you're pretty much left to go to, you know, like, E3 and conferences and stuff and see what the developers are hey, using. Hey. Um, I actually, I, I built my own computer about a year ago, and I didn't, it was way easier than I thought it would be. It was the first time I had done it. There's way fewer components than you actually think are in a PC. And yeah, um, I'm, same thing as um, Amperage21 says, I built my first computer last year and I will never go back. I'm not gonna say I'll never go back. I'm gonna have to see what the 720, and the uh, PS4 actually are able to put out. But uh, as of right now, I can't go back to a 360. I just, it like something in the back of my brain screams, the, there's something wrong here <laughs> when, <laughs> when I fire up a 360 game these days. And I've now plugged in, I also plugged in my 360 controller into my PC, so it's indistinguishable for me at this stage. I don't think you can necessarily shoot through the fence. Sorry. Yeah. Are you griefing this game? I think you gotta go up that and hop over. Yeah. If you do not want to build a PC, I don't know, like, the only brands that are really making gaming rigs these days are what, like, Alienware? And, Ooh, uh... I'm gonna get a twofer. And, uh... Oh. Asus? Oh, it's gonna skim the top of the car. You should have run, son. All right, so we'll get to the end of the stage and then we'll uh, hop over to multiplayer. Multiplayer looks pretty different from this, actually. The visual styles is very different. Definitely different. Monkey Sun Crack 5 says Cyber Power makes good ones. Uh, I got one, then built off that. Yeah, I mean, for people who are intimidated by building a PC, I'm honestly not somebody who traditionally would build one. Um, I just underwent the experiment last year and found it to be a not hard thing to do. You just, I mean, you do need, you probably need somebody to give you a little bit of advice. But again, PCs are actually, component-wise, far less complex than you might imagine. I will also say if you enjoy playing on consoles, just stick with it because honestly consoles are, if you haven't actually like gotten to the point where you, your brain knows the difference between PC graphics and console graphics, then you won't have a problem until you start playing on PC. trying to look up there's actually a store just down the street from us in san francisco too where if you, you want to build a pc if you live in the bay area it's called central computers in san francisco so that that store you can buy all the components there it'll probably cost you a little bit more but then you can buy your box and try and put it all in on the spot which is what i did like i found out that my high profile ram was too big and so they let me just swap it out for low prof profile ram in the store 
Um, you know, there's stores like that will let you go in and actually build it on the spot, or at least make sure all the components fit into your case on the spot. And that could, it'll cost you a little bit more money, but it'll save you time in, you know, sending something out that didn't work. Sunbeam 4 says consoles are way convenient. They are. Consoles are convenient. I, I mean, that's their main. That is their that is their main draw, really. Like I've never spent two hours trying to get a game to work on a console. So I mean, that is their main draw. Monkey Sun Crack Five says, "So how's this game so far?" Um, Siberian Strike. I don't know. What What are you thinking so far? That that the dude right there. I know. You gonna knife him? He doesn't notice me. You gonna sure. put a knife in his back? Eminent Stranger says most towns have an independent PC shop that will build you a custom PC. That is also definitely an option. You knifed that dude. That AI was just like asleep at the wheel. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, I don't know. I don't know. So far, the Siberian Strike seems like more of the same with Ghost Warrior. So if you liked Ghost Warrior 2 and you felt like you needed more, you got it. If you felt like you were done after your Ghost Warrior 2 playthrough, I'd say you could probably pass. Um, this does add two multiplayer maps. Well, it, yeah, they're two maps. I mean, they look similar, but they have different modes on them. One is a tower defense mode where you're stuck in your tower and you're trying to snipe, I think, five other towers. The other one is more traditional where I think you can cross the center line. Um, if you like the multiplayer in this game, it only launched with, I think, two maps. So it definitely needed it um, for an extra 10 bucks if you want to... You know, spend ten bucks on two maps. That's up to you whether you like this game. Something big coming. Um, I think it definitely adds to the experience. Get the gears turning all right. Oh, train. <laughs> uh, RT Webray says, "Too bad you can't give the enemy a wet willy." <laughs> <laughs> I would recommend that to the developers. Oh, look at that, almost. Oh, I got busted. Now somebody's paying attention. God damn it. I mean, honestly, if you are intimidated by PC building, the, um, I hope he's down there. The uh, Xbox 7, well, I guess they're gonna call it the Xbox Infinity. Yeah. yeah, I'm stuck on something. I think they just announced they're gonna call it the Xbox Infinity, which is, is leaked. Um, it's kind of hilarious because, like, I think they should have subtitled no backseas plus one. <laughs> but, yeah, so the Xbox Infinity and the PS4 will, in all likeliness, be out towards the end of this year. Um, so if building a PC is something you do not want to do, just wait. What button did I mash last time? That's what you get for button mashing, then <laughs> you don't know what button you hit. Um, yeah, I mean, it, towards the end of this year, is uh, we, we suspect is when the next-gen consoles are going to come out, and you will get a better experience graphically out of those. So, yeah. You know, if you don't want to build the PC, just hang out for the better part of this year, and you'll be good to go. Oh, I just don't have any health packs. That's my freaking problem right now. All right, if you die here... I'm so dead. If you die here, we're going to multiplayer. I ain't getting shot in the back. Dusk of Dawn says, I'd rather be a PC gamer, but all my favorite games are on console. That's a good reason to be playing on console. I'm just going to throw this out there. If you feel like your, your favorite games are on console, that is where you should be. Did they just, like, follow me up there or something? They all know where you are. Narfbot's uh, V2 says pretty much Halo is uh, keeping him on consoles, and that's about it. <laughs> Halo is an excuse. I wonder how much um, with the... <laughs> the exact opposite. Amperage 21 says Halo is why I do not own an Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I just, I like... I will never play God of the what God of War three because I want to, but I'm never gonna buy the console required to play it. I, I wish they would release 
you know, like I said before, I think I wish PC was Switzerland. It's just neutral territory, and all games would also be released on PC. Because, like, who's going to buy a console just for one game? Dusk of Dawn says Zelda and MGS keeps me on console. I'll take it. I'll take it. You did not play Zelda on the Wii U, because it's weird. We've had a series of developers articles now about how developers, main developers, are not not developing for that system. Does anybody out there own a Wii U? Just out of curiosity. So Monkey Suncrack Five says, "Question: Do you think the next gen console will have better graphic abilities than PC, even though PC?" Uh, it has parts that can be updated. So typically what happens, although I don't know if it's gonna, I don't think it's gonna happen in this cycle, but usually console will leap a little bit ahead of the average PC, not the high-end PC. Right. And, and then PCs will like overtake that over the next couple of years, but the console then can't be upgraded. So the console, once it's overtaken, that's it. You know, the PC then is always more powerful for the next, however long the console cycle is. So, like, no, the console will never be as powerful as the high-end PC. Yes, it will probably overtake the mid-range PC for a while. And then after that, no. But, you know, I think if you're a console player, it's more about the convenience than anything. That's really what the main draw is. Well, the convenience is pretty significant and justified. It's All right. so simple to... Uh, All right, Rampage. Rampage time. I can't Rampage. Rampage! I have, like, no help. Rampage! And I am absolutely terrible at reading this mini-map. Completely random, but did you know the Mythbusters are back on? Really? I... The, ever since they shot a cannon into that house, I've been, like, depressed without Mythbusters. That is so rad that those guys are back on. Where am I getting scoped from? Oh, also, uh, Defiance got renewed for a second season, which is kind of funny. I've never felt that good about something that's so meh before. <laughs> I don't know if I watch that show and play that game because I just don't have any better sci-fi right now. But uh, it's weird. that game. Make, the game and the movie make you feel so meh, but like you don't... It hasn't made me stop watching it yet. Is there health pack somewhere? I can't rampage without more health. Bobo Jones 1980 says, yes, I like my Wii U a lot. Big Boy 104 says, Wii U is good for children. Cool. I, do you guys feel like Wii U has been supported? Because from a hardcore gamer perspective, it feels like they've been really like abandoned by third-party developers. Yes. But I'm curious for people who own Wii U's, if it's like fulfilling their needs for, I guess, you know, kids and such. Amperage 21 says, I watch and play Defiance. Don't judge. <laughs> <laughs> I do too. I honestly, like, I've been following the show and playing the game and enjoying them both. I still feel super meh about it, but I just, I don't know. There's something, there's something that keeps me there. Uh, Ite says, I'm surprised that it made it to season two. <laughs> It's funny because I don't know if, like, Defiance the show knows who its protagonist is. Like, Nolan is really not the protagonist. He's kind of just a meathead with a gun. And, like, some of the other characters have been having more character development than the guy who they're saying is their main character. It's funny. The show's, like, kind of all over the place and yet still entertaining. not going to let me keyhole through Sunbeam 4 people. says back in the day Stargate would have made a better job than Defiance I will agree there I, I was a huge fan of the Stargate series and it had fantastic writing because it knew it was cheesy sci-fi you know that show Buffy a um, couple other shows like you know Firefly they all knew that they all knew what they were and sort of like made fun of themselves and broke the fourth wall on occasion yeah. And, like, Defiance doesn't know that it's cheesy sci-fi yet. I'm hoping it figures out that it is. Are you... Hold your breath, son. I don't want to hold my breath. Holding yeah. breath is for... 
Holding your breath is for real snipers. Oh, got ketchup on your face. So that guy was like way the heck out there. Where are these other dudes? Dusk of Dawn says, I just undusted my Wii to play uh, Majora's Mask. Our own GS Dan is reminding us there was a crappy Stargate game. I think it was like an MMO for a short period of time, wasn't it? Oh God, really? Or is it a, like a dedicated multiplayer sh online shooter? Whoa, that guy just totally spotted you out of nowhere. Yeah, I mean, the AI in this game does seem to be kind of all over the place. Sometimes it's just instantly spots you. And sometimes a dude smoking a cigarette and not noticing you walking up right behind him. That mountain says, I miss Firefly, sad face. Yeah. The problem Firefly is it, was good. I wonder if they brought Firefly back. And this is just an if scenario. Like, in Serenity, they killed off the pilot. Can't remember, did they kill off any of the other main characters? Um... It'd be hard for them to make a show after having killed off a main character or two at this point. I think they killed off a couple main characters. Yeah. Did the I, preacher die? I think so. They killed a bunch of people. Heffern says, uh, we're back on our Wii conversation. He started speedrunning Majora's Mask. <laughs> Eminent Stranger says, there are 10 Stargate games on the Wikipedia page. Jeez. Really? 10? Yeah, Bob Jones, 1980, the priest did die. Stargate never did, never did get its game. I think, I don't know, I think that's why I am still playing Defiance, the video game right now, is it sort of wraps up all the sci-fi universes that I never got a game for. I could see that. Secretly, I've just actually been pretending that Defiance takes place in the uh, Firefly universe. <laughs> it's like close enough that you can just, you know, pretend that it does. Borderlands had some similarity too. Yeah. Ambridge 21 says Stargate, the Sega Genesis game, was pretty awesome. Monkey Sun Crack 5, we'll see you later. Thanks for joining us. All right, you want to hop over to multiplayer? Let's go check that out. I've almost got all these guys, though. All right, get, get After your guys. all this time... Damn you, Ryan, for playing this game like you're supposed to. I am not at all playing this game like I'm supposed to. Ah. Our good friend GS Dan is saying it's Monkey on Crack 5. I like Monkey Sun Crack better. Can I just call you Monkey Sun Crack 5? Monkey Sun. Monkey Sun. All right, Ricky Guitarist, finish the fight. <laughs> I've got one crappy little regenerating health bar. Shoot him in the foot. Get on your belly. Shoot, shoot him in the foot. Shoot them men in the foot <laughs> so we can get over to multiplayer. Oh, there you are. Uh-oh, he's alive. He's alive. You didn't get him. He's still there. He's coming for you. Well, unless he shoots me in the foot. Seriously, you can get on your belly. Shoot him in the foot. Where is he? He's uh, to your right. There he is. All right, get to that waypoint, see if there's a cutscene. If not, we're going to multiplayer. You can't ride the snowmobile. That was totally rad in Call of Duty. Is there a... Uh... Return to designated objective. Oh, it has a... It has the... Um... You're leaving the mission area and therefore must asphyxiate. Eminent Stranger wants us to rename him Monkey Arse Crack. I like that idea. You are now you are now dubbed Monkey Arse Crack. <laughs> From now on, you shall be Monkey Arse Crack. Nothing over here. Oh God, more guys! Wow, I, I feel like we. Uh, I got this. I got this. All right. I got this in the bag. Just do it. Do it until you die. That's our new motto for this game. <laughs> Where the hell is everybody? At? There. Shoot him. Shoot him. Why are you swearing? You're about to have fun. Yeah, this like, guy, this guy, like, he's like, God damn it! I have to do something fun now. This guy swears every time he's about to have fun. You'll respawn. Don't worry about it. 
pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, he's like... The one thing this game could take from um, Elite V2 would be the internal organ cam. That yeah, was that was that was cool. That was awesome. That would be a good way to teach people anatomy too. Like if you're going to be a doctor. See, oh, there we go. <laughs> you guys right here. Screw you, boring anatomy. We're going to teach you anatomy by shooting people in Sniper Elite V2. Must shoot. That mountain nuts. says, so you play like a Rambo sniper one-man army in this? You're not supposed to, but the game doesn't really stop you from doing it. it yeah. Re realistically, what I mean is the, the AI isn't smart enough to stop you once you go on a rampage. They just sort of charge you, and you've got, like, near unlimited slow motion if you manage it right. So, um, yeah, it's kind of up to you. You can totally play this game like a... Oh, good. Stop. There we All go. All right, let's head All over to right. multiplayer. Uh, I taste is new to FPS Fridays. Anatomy with Aaron and Ryan. <laughs> that doesn't sound right, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we can do we that. Can't, can't do the balls shot. Uh, yeah. Way and get to the bridge. Mm. Sorry, this is uh, <laughs> this is not HBO. There's no rear balls here. Here, I got all my health back. I'm just gonna charge. You gonna see what happens if you charge? Oh, yeah. that's what happens if you try. All right, go to multiplayer. So we do have some Wii fans in the chat. I, that that I did not expect. Wii. Yeah. Wow. All right. Maybe there is some hope for the Wii. All right, multiplayer. All four maps, two of which are new. So we've got Temple <laughs> and, Crossing and, and all, Tower Defense. All four servers that are populated. Uh, Temple Crossing. You got one slot. Mm, mm, you got okay. one slot. There we go. Hit it. Go. <laughs> uh, David Daddle says, so how does Ghost Warrior 2 stack up against Black Ops? I don't think you can compare the two I styles. I don't think they have very much in common. I think there really is no way to compare, <laughs> compare a sniping game with like the epitome of run and gun. I mean, you can try, but... I mean, well, I mean, maybe the question is in terms of single player, like, you know, maybe story. Uh, and... Badass likes our profile name. That is actually coworker Andy Bauman's profile <laughs> name. We stole his account to play this. What am I gonna shoot with? He has like We're one of those. School. He has one of those coveted Steam Press accounts. We got cut off from those. <laughs> oh well. Which is why we totally jacked his. You were getting shot at. If you run, you will die. You will die so hard. So when you run, I think, in this multiplayer, it actually has an arrow on the mini-map. So the red the red dot is the dude who was probably shooting at you. Yeah, I know. So this multiplayer I like. It's all about being able to look you know, towards the enemy side of the map while expo oh, he's to your right, he's got a he's got a pistol, he's got a pistol! Oh, oh. I got him in the nuts. Though. You shot him in the nuts, he should have died. That man cannot live without his nuts. See, this is what happens though. There's always gonna be like one or two dudes that wanna run across the map and just get into a pistol fight. Yeah, but here's the thing, if you're in a coordinated team, they all almost always have to cross the map in yeah. a very narrow bridge. Yeah. So one person on your team has to be watching the bridge. Otherwise, you will get that this scenario where you have somebody on their team running through. Moomin, definitely looking forward to the E3s. E uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. E3 is going to be cool this year just because they are going to be talking about consoles. And I think we're going to see some Battlefield 3 multiplayer at E3, hopefully. Because really, who cares about Battlefield 4? Or, sorry, Battlefield 4. 4. Battlefield 4. Really, who cares about Battlefield 4 single-player campaign? Um, I don't. I really, really, really don't care about Battlefield 4 single-player campaign. I just want to know about multiplayer.
I'm out in the open. Actually, you know Just what? Shoot me in I'm going to go now. I'm going to go as far as saying I wish they took the money they put into developing their single player campaign and put nope. it into multiplayer. Like flat out I would like to save dice money. I'm just gonna <laughs> flat out say, Dice, do not spend millions of dollars making oh. your single player campaign. Just put it into multiplayer. Give me like ten more maps, you know. <laughs> David Daddle said, I didn't even know that Battlefield 3 had a single player game. If you bought it on console uh, 360, it was a separate disc. So it was very easy for you to have never even put that disc in. Oh, it was so easy to never put that disc but in. But it did make a sweet beer coaster, I will say. Mm -hmm. Battlefield coaster? Free coaster? Come on. Who doesn't want swag? All right, so you got to do this enemy of the gate style where you get one of your friends to stick their head out, and then when they get shot in the head, <laughs> <laughs> then, then you get the guy who shot him. Hey, yo, dude, stand up, will you? <laughs> Just stick your head out, guy. You'll be fine. Well, okay, maybe not oh. fine. Oh, I got shot. See, this dude who's running around. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to find that man. He is just running rough shot over your team. You want? You can flip to another sniper rifle. I wish they had made you uh, earn I'm these. The M24. I wish they had made you earn these sniper rifles. Personally, all right. You're gonna have to go find this guy because he's just running over your team. If I had any idea what the map layout was, that would be. Sunbeam Four says gold will still be a feature. Uh. Uh, that Somewhere's? may have been that may have been in relation to a Pokemon oh, there's conversation. there's a crossing down there. Okay. That Mountain Star Wars Battlefront was pretty sweet. You know, um, was it EA just inked a deal to yes. ke keep producing Star Wars games? Yes. So you may get your wish. We we may get another Battlefront. We'll see. Yeah, and they actually did mention dice, so there's some hope yeah. there. Considering um, that Battlefront was kind of pretty much but Battlefield. You know, you know what the saddest news was of the past week is that Just Cause Two. Oh, Avalanche. They almost did a Star Wars open world GTA style game. Yeah, that, that would have been cool. That was the freaking game that I've wanted for like 10 years. That, mm -hmm. is, that is what I want. Exactly. It just cause 2 plus Star Wars equals the, like just done. Best game ever. All right, after this, I'm just going to make a run for the middle. Eminent Stranger speaking up for the uh, the guy who liked the Battlefield 3 campaign. He played it in one day and loved it. Did you get one day of entertainment out of it? I probably got one day of entertainment out of it. I'll give it that. I, but I'm, I mean, I'm, okay. I was, ooh. I was definitely on the frustrated side of that for most of that one day, though, I'll admit. Our very own GS Dan is now linking to what we're going to get out of <laughs> what we're going to get out of this, the EA deal. The link goes to Ewok Band <laughs> by EA. That's hilarious. I actually it's funny, but at work, uh, at work. Sucker. Did you get him? Yeah. Nice. Homer, oh, it's Homer Simpson. Yep. That was a dude who shot you. Yeah, he was trying to make the run across the. He was trying to make the run again. See, Phil. So, so you were so the guy. So that's what you're saying. It's like if you got one guy who's got their eyes on that bridge, yeah. then you can prevent it from being a exploit. You need a man to cover that bridge. There's just there's no way around it. Let's see, how do I? Uh... Amperage twenty one says I was excited for thirteen thirteen. Also, there's no, there's really no word on whether thirteen thirteen is dead or not. Um, it sounds dead. It's sort of in limbo right now. Somebody might pick it up, but yeah, there's no word on thirteen thirteen yet. Commando Republic Commando was awesome. I really liked that game because I think Republic Commando was the first game to ever get dro the droids right. Like, the droids were actually fairly, like, tough dudes that you had to fear a bit. Especially battle, like, the heavy battle droids could mess you up if you weren't careful. I really actually liked Republic Commando quite a lot. Someone in the office also pointed out that, um, so the Clone Wars got canceled, the cartoon, which I was also following. But somebody in the office pointed out it probably got canceled so that Disney could uh, so that Disney could pick up production. I think they just wanted to. This is just my theory or our office theory. They just wanted to break their contract 
so that they could make the profit off of it. Mm. So chances are Clone Wars, I think, is going to come back. Um, just It'll just be Disney produced so that they can get the profits from releasing it. That's... Mm. Peffern says, got to go to bed now, guys. Have fun with the game. Later. Later. Thanks for joining us for this FPS Friday. This riveting ghost warrior. Soliloquies is pointing out the red dot appearing on your mini-map occasionally. Um, for those who don't play Sniper Ghost, that indicates a sniper on the other team has fired a shot. Yeah, taken a shot. And is giving you an idea of where that shot came from so that you can kill that dude. But it also means that when you take a shot, you know that you... You do the same thing. Yeah, basically. your location has been revealed on the mini-map, and you got to be real careful all of a sudden. Yeah. Did you do it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Homer Simpson came in last with his running gun tactics. I wonder if they on, factor on that in. On his team, he came in last. I wonder if they factor that in, though. Maybe, like, long-range kills get you more points? Oh, uh, maybe, yeah. I think so, so, actually. So we'll do maybe one more round on this, then we'll switch over to tower defense mode. Have a look do at one, that. Do one round on that. And if we have time and people want, we'll do receiver. Yeah, do people Just want to see Just check that out for a few minutes. Oh, I'm running the wrong way. No, you're running the wrong way. Get, get, get. Out of the way. Jump over him. You jump it. Jump it. Jump. Oh, <laughs> wow. Was that him? No, I don't think so. It's friendly fire. I don't know if friendly fire is on. I can find that out pretty quickly. Well, I, eh, if you really want to go down that, <laughs> go down that road. This tower always freaks me out because it's so far out to the side. RT Webray says, I knew someone who thought FPS games stood for frames per second. If you do a Google search, that's most of what you're going to get if, with FPS. Is that a reasonable thing to believe if you're not a gamer and you do I, I a think, Google search? I think so, yeah. Because, because, especially because in shooters, the frames per second is actually pretty important to a lot of gamers. So even if you do a search for F FPS shooter game, you're still going to get, like... I mean, a stranger says EA also bought up Pandemic and just closed them down, so I don't have high hopes for Star Wars Pandemic. Uh, oh. For Star Wars, Pandemic made some of the best PS2 games. Yeah. Did Pandemic do uh, Mercenaries? Do mm. I remember that right? Uh, or is that somebody else? Let me double check on that one. LucasArts and... Was it Pandemic? Yeah. I'm checking right now on the internet. One of my favorite games of all time that nobody played was by Pandemic. What game would you be talking about, sir? Uh, Full Spectrum Warrior. There's, there was nothing like it before, and there's been, as far as I know, nothing like it since. Did it, did it encompass the full spectrum of warrior-ness? It totally did, actually. Whoa. Because that... it was sort of like a sports game, but a like real-time strategy. I've just discovered it's hard to search for Mercenaries 1. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, there we go. All right. PlayStation 2, we got an 8.8. .8 done by, yep, LucasArts and Pandemic Studios. There we go. Totally did remember that right. So Mercenaries was awesome. Mercenaries 2 was junk. But... Um, okay, wait a minute. Somebody's calling us campers. It's a sniping game. That's the whole point of this game. <laughs> It's Camper Ghost Warrior it's 2. It's Sniper Ghost Warrior 2. Oh. Well, I got the name wrong then. Yeah, I guess. Someone to your right. Somebody says there's someone to your right. There is. Where? He's your friend. Teammates to my right. Come on. Homer Simpson. Oh, oh, it is Homer oh, Simpson. Homer Simpson. Homer Simpson's on a rampage. Yep, he's to your right. Oh. Oh, Lord. that's a dead end. Son of a bitch. Don't, don't stop there. You'll get sniped, sir. I don't think the enemy can see me from here. Homer Simpson is on a rampage. Oh, they got him. They got him. Homer Simpson really liking that uh, charging tactic. There's always somebody. There's always somebody. Okay, so back, yeah. So Mercenaries 2 was a big play to balls on you, but I feel like Just Cause 2 was the spiritual successor to Mercenaries. I really liked the first one. And yeah. I, and I played all of maybe three hours of the second. You are going to get so shot running out in the open like that, sir. 
I think somebody is shooting uh. at you. Keep moving, keep moving. Somebody's shooting at you. <laughs> Don't <Woo>! stop. Don't <laughs> stop. <laughs> Don't ever stop. Okay, that dude was probably shooting at you. That'd be a good tactic if you get him killed. Make him dead. I'm drawing fire. It's my strategy. Make him dead. Oh, this is going to end poorly for you, sir. Oh, I think you ducked right as that shot went off. Yep. The, the red dot. That guy's shooting at you. Solil Soliloquy says, I told you so. Yes, you did. You were correct. There was Homer Simpson was to our right. <laughs> <laughs> Homer Simpson was totally running up with a pistol on everybody. Sunbeam Force says this multiplayer needs an RPG to shake things up. <laughs> Sir, I think you are missing the point of a sniping multiplayer match. <laughs> or a, a mortar strike of some kind. That'd be good. I will say, and I've said this before, I do wish that Battlefield... Oh, he's back. Oh, uh -huh. is, is Homer Simpson back? I think he is. How's he making that run? If you just cover that walkway, you're going to shoot Homer Simpson so many times. Yeah, he might... The pistol's a little bit sort of underbalanced in this game. You can, like, shoot somebody, like, four times and it doesn't matter. Eminent Stranger says, problem with Just Cause 2 was all the exploding stuff was all red and identical. Yes, but you could surf a jet. You could surf a passenger jet. How do you not, how do you not surf a passenger jet in a game where you can do that? You could not only do that, you could attach a zip line to a passenger jet and attach that to a motorcycle and then take off in the jet. And the motorcycle would follow you. Or you could attach a dude to a passenger jet. <laughs> Bob Jones 1980 says, a bit late, but I want to say this. With EA, the force will always need an internet connection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so I experienced this with going back to Defiance with the, the video game. They had real bad server problems, still do sometimes. And it really makes you realize that, I mean, it, granted it, it is an MMO, so like there is that. But it just, on a, when I was playing it on console, it just reminded me that when you have always on internet connection required games, you're not just dealing with like professional server operations, you're dealing with whatever servers that company hires and it can really ruin the experience of that game. More to the left, Jana VR says. Yeah, but that you know that means there's somebody who's not to oh, the left. Homer Simpson. All right, I'm doing it. Homer Simpson. Somebody watching the bridge. And I hide over here. Well, I feel like you can't stop because once you stop, it's all over. Look to your left real quick. Just out of curiosity. Okay. Where is this dude? Is he over there? I mean, the thing about this multiplayer mode is you have to... Oh, there he is. He's right there. Right there. Yeah! That's what you get. <laughs> F-thug. And, and now everybody knows where I am. Yeah, now they all know you're on the bridge, though. I would just hang tight for a minute. More to the left, I just got a Zoe 2 flashback there. I'm ignorant. What's Zoe 2? I have no idea. Oh, there's guys. Whoa, there's, there's guys running up to your left. Careful. So the arrow, I think, means that they're running. Correct me if I'm wrong. Gino VR says, told you! <laughs> you did. You did tell us. Oh, oh that guy okay. <laughs> just fell out of the oh. tower. Oh. Yeah, he didn't make it. Oh, that guy just killed himself. F it. F this sniping. <laughs> I've had it, world. Goodbye, cruel sniping world. Zone of the Enders? Zoe 2? Zone of the Enders when you have to navigate through the mines. Okay, I did not play that game, which is probably why I didn't get the reference. Let's see if he's. I don't think he's going to be dumb enough to go right back to that spot. You'd be surprised. Splat! Says Artwee Bray. 
Eminem Stranger says, Damn you, gravity! That was funny when we played Firefall last week. Just random. Oh, there's a guy. Right there, right there, oh, right oh. there. He just ran. I think he's running up to that spot on the right. Is he? I'm not sure. He was definitely there. I keep oh, there he goes. Oh. He's going up there. Yeah. He's going up the tower. He's going up the, the snipey tower to the right. Oh, there, oh, there he, is. he is. Oh, get him, get him. Oh, get Hit it. Oh, he noticed you were shooting at him. That was... You were too hasty, sir. You didn't. You did not display the patience of a sniper. You might want to get out Does a little bit. Does anybody in this game have the patience of a sniper? You might want to edge out to your right just a little bit in case he tries to cross back, go back across the bridge. That will just expose me to further bullet possibilities. That, or he's going to try and get you through that window because that's probably. Wait, look! Look at the boards there to the left. Make sure he's not crawling in there. No, is he just going to hide for a while? If he knows what's good for him. Oh. Uh, that sounds like rapid fire. What's going on? They're just taking out a bunch of my dudes. Eh. Why does it always come down to you having to take care of business for your team? Yep. It's just, it's not, it's not fair, but I don't mind. He's probably stream sniping. Oh. Is he there? Do you see a face? Show me your face. Stream sniping is for suckers. I don't even know what that is. What is stream sniping? That's when somebody's watching our stream. Oh, watching our stream. Out. Oh shit! There's a guy right there. Oh, he's right there. Where? He's right there. He just ran. He just ran. He just ran that way. Just run behind him. Left. Go left. Didn't he go through here? Did he? I don't know. I think he might have gone the other way then. Of course, that guy in the tower is also looking for you right now. Go up there. Maybe he's up there. Oh man, he was right there. All right, well, he didn't know you were there, so you can probably go back to your spot. Hmm. Ite says, is Dan going to have to put on delay? Nobody's nobody's shot us so far in any way that makes me think they're watching the stream, so I think we're oh, good. Yeah, somebody. Was he in there? I don't know. Snipers nope. work by pair. That was the guy up on the bridge, though. It was like, yeah, that was the guy we were trying to kill? Mm-hmm. The good news is I don't think he's going to run back across no, the bridge. We also have a an identical bridge, apparently. You probably have a view of that bridge from your bridge. You were getting shot at, sir. You think you can make it across the bridge? You want to try? It's a bad idea, but... It's a totally bad idea. It's a bad idea, but it's a bad idea. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, $10. <laughs> worth it. <laughs> Get some artwork out of it. <laughs> okay. Fucking hell. This is the like. You get binoculars in this mode? NVG? Nothing? Not like it's. You know. I don't necessary. think in this mode you get it. Alright. Just look at the dots. Look at the dots, sir. The dots will tell you where the shots are coming from. People get pretty good after a while in this game of not... Oh, there it's up. Nope. Never up. People get pretty good after a while in this game of not going to obvious places. Yeah, you know, it. it's kind of frustrating that the game doesn't have, like, even, like, a, a high-powered rifle shot kicking up any dust or anything. Like, you don't even... See other than the... So you would like to see a little burst of smoke or something, like armor style? Yeah, you know, like, a little bit... Like, I, the red dot is, like, help a kind of helpful thing, but... I think that dude's still in that tower. You should kill the guy who killed you. I don't even have a line of sight on that tower right now. Oop, look in that window right there. Look in. Here. Somebody's going to town right now on your guys. That sounded close. I have a feeling somebody knows where you are. Well, I've got three other dudes from my team like clustered around me, so it's possible. That's what they're doing? They're, you know, the other guys will out me. You want to go for the tower? Let's do it. Let's go for the tower. Oh, oh, oh wait. Is that a guy? 
Yeah, he just poked out for a second. Somebody's definitely shooting at you. That is a nice little hiding spot down there. Yeah, it is. Totally inconspicuous. Yeah, I'd keep your eye on that if he was there. I just saw him for like a... He might be popping out and taking shots. He's left a bit, Eminent Stranger says. Oh. So yeah. far, Eminent Stranger's been right every time, mm -hmm. and they have always been to your left. Oh, this guy oh, he's up, up top. It. Yeah. You should get that guy in the tower who got you earlier. Oh, dang it. Guy's running across the bridge. Is there a guy going across the bridge? Yeah, that's got to be Homer Simpson on his way up to start shooting people. Damn you, Homer Simpson, and your bridges. He's trying to get this match moving. Those people are probably all shooting at you as you're running. That's cool. I'll draw their fire. I don't mind. No, your other left, says Eminent Stranger. This is, like, you know, I don't know, a little <laughs> bit repetitive. Eminent, Eminent Stranger can't be wrong, because mm -hmm. it's on your left or your other left. <laughs> there, you, that covers all of your lefts. You can go up there. You can go up there. I want you to kill that man in the tower. Oh shit, that's not a good place to pop out. Usually you don't want to be the highest guy in the map because everybody always scans the uh, the top places. But if you're the highest guy in the map, you're having more fun. Oh, no, no it wasn't funny. All right, get in that tower, which is totally a death trap, and then shoot the guy in the other tower. That movement in the crack there. All up in the crack. Right there. Over here? Yeah. Look in that corner right there for a second. Down here? On the stairs there. There's stairs? Nope. <laughs> All right. Zoom out. Oh, Simpson's pissed. <laughs> Amperage 21 says your military left. So it's your left, your other left, or your military left. One of those lefts. All right, do something reckless. All right. All right, fine. Should run across the bridge and totally die in the process. I almost made it last time. Zeus 88483 eight, says, do not be a camper, and is thus missing the entire point of this multiplayer. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. That's literally the entire point of this multiplayer, is to camp. Other than that, there's no point to this, other than camping, which is the entire point, I will reiterate. Oh, you can do, you can do it! You can do it! I believe in you! I believe in you! Should have waited to calm down again. I believe in you! You can do it. You're going to make it. Duck, get down. You made it. Wow. So where was that like hole that guy was like peeking out of? I think I shot you from the hole. I think it was like midway up that ridge. I can go prone all the way. Just so you have no profile. This is uh, Sniper oh. Ghost Warrior 2, Siberian Strike. Oh, he disappeared. Did he log out? <laughs> Oh, check right there. Yeah, he did. Left the game. Oh, 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 right there, right there, right there, right there. He's gonna have to... Ah! What? What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two rounds in the chest. You mean, you you ran so hard that one guy logged out and the other guy died. <laughs> David Daddle says, just pull out your lightsaber and block the shots. That is the way to go. Normally, I would do that. Normally... But I want to be... Oh, oh, right there. Ah! Ah! Where'd he go? Oh, huh? Huh? Right there? Right there? Oh! oh did, I got the shot off. That's you got the shot fair. off. Did your bullet disappear? That's, oh, a, somebody that's else. a different guy. Yeah. Did you get the guy? You might have gotten the guy because your bullet went off. 
Or is it like I the, don't know. Or is it like Battlefield Three where you would like fire your rocket and then if you died your rocket would derez <laughs> mid flight? <laughs> it was the dumbest thing ever. Same thing with your uh, claymores. Why why would your rocket derez mid flight? I mean seriously. Come on. Come on. I tell you saying it's probably like Call of Duty. Um, your bullet shot went out, then you watch the kill cam, and if they shot you first, what, like, it doesn't count? All right. It was bound to happen. You were you got a couple shots off, so they knew where you were at that oh, point. Oh, they knew where I was. Is that a guy? Where? Uh, I thought I saw a head up here, but I could have been wrong. I'm gonna say I really like honestly like this multiplayer. I, I think that it's really tense and it's different. But you have to be somebody who has patience. So that is the crossing point. So if somebody is covering that crossing point on the other team, um, nobody will ever make it across that. But if they're not, then you can run in and haze the hell out of people. Uh, don't run now because you're in their territory and they'll know if you're running. Oh, he's right there, he's right! Oh, wait, what was that? That was the end of the match. Oh, he had come back, too. Oh, he just logged in. He almost died. He almost logged in and died. Gee. All right, let's, let's pop over to the, the tower defense mode. Although this does have more fun, I can go across the way. I mean, tower defense kind of, like, takes that away. I'm in a stranger agreeing with us that Battlefield 4 better fix that rocket thingy. So unfair. Yeah, that's, that's, that was yeah. pretty lame. You launch a rocket, that rocket is a separate entity from your character. Uh, Trechetician tre saying the bullet is bound to the player. You die, it dies. Nah, how about no? That, that's just not right. How about not? I, I think that that's wrong. My vote is for not. Because oh. that, that whole thing with the claymores in Battlefield drives me crazy. How the like, claymores? I, I might have, there might be a claymore like five feet away from me, and then I get shot, and the guy runs through, and he's fine. Just like, oh, eh, disappears, like nothing ever happened. Oh yeah, we got an intense debate. Modern Warfare 3 is good, Modern Warfare sucks. Oh, the age-old question. Does, is it good or does it suck? I will just say that Modern Warfare 3 is a good game at doing what it intends to do. Starting off and, by running. And leave it at that. Okay, so you can only go up or down. So the other towers have the other dudes in them. You cannot cross to the other towers. The only thing that you can do is go up or down your tower. So that is an enemy tower right there. There's a dude in that tower. This is tower defense game mode. And they spawn at a random location in their tower. So he's probably higher than you are currently. Probably. This is much more of a just wait for somebody to make a mistake game mode. <laughs> but. Well, it's more of a how high are you willing to risk being sort of game mode. I think the higher you are, the more exposed you get. Now let's try going up. Let's go up the tower. Just gonna hope somebody peeks out. I know that when I was playing this mode, I was in stairwells a lot, just crouching. Yeah, a lot of people just sit in the stairwells. I noticed that myself. Not that this game was really letting me do any kind of keyhole <laughs> shooting before, but. Rich Webre is saying it's a Coke versus Pepsi discussion. I'm inclined to agree. You know, like I said, Modern Warfare series does exactly what it intends to do, and it does it very well. If you don't like the thing that it does, it's not that it's a bad game, you just don't like what it's trying to accomplish. Sunbeam wants to know what color your camo is. Oh, I guess he's asking if it's white, like the environment. I think it's still green. We'll know once we shoot somebody. Yeah, I don't think they changed the uh, models. Once the we uh, models. once we find somebody to shoot, we'll know. Wow, everybody's playing it real conservative right now. Ch 
check the stairs. That's where I was hiding last time. It's every time I got killed when I was checking this out yesterday. It's from a stairwell? From a stairwell. Yeah. yeah. It's like the most protected place. And every time I got a kill, it's because somebody was not in their stairwell. <laughs> Alright, let's get up in some stairwells. Don't forget when you run, you appear on the minimap. I got no problems with that. Alright. So I think go a little bit higher, a little bit higher, a little bit higher. Wait, this is good. Okay. Place to stop. Now you gotta find another tower to shoot at. That's the one thing in this mode, I wish they marked where the other towers were on your minimap, just so you have like a reference point as to where you're supposed to be looking. Okay. That's dude's stairs. He's not in a stairwell. So the interesting thing about this mode is it's all about not exposing yourself to the other towers while you're trying to shoot somebody. <laughs> the real Phil says go outside your tower. No one will expect that. Oh, I'm sure that will end well. The thing is, right, is that there's basically... The, this problem is that there's the... Um, the wall, right? Like, you can only go so far. There's, like, a little pagoda behind your tower that you can go into, which really only gives you, like, kind of a line of sight on one spot, usually, on the other tower. Yeah, not a lot of room to play with. And then, of course, I have no idea if there's anybody even in that freaking tower. Yeah, let's go up a little higher and check it out. Where's the... Hang on. Red Webre says C4 and collapse his tower. <laughs> oh, wait. I got a little hole here. Yeah, but you got to be able to see somebody through the hole or it's not super helpful. Find a dude. Yeah, I, I don't think you have binoculars in multiplayer. You do not. Which is kind of bullshit if you ask me. Yep, oh, somebody got a shot. To your left. He's to your left. Yep, I know. I'm just going to be exposing myself to this tower if I don't. Yeah, but that guy's going to be looking at the other tower. I mean, anytime there's a red marker, everybody's going to be looking in that direction. The Bell 1919 wants you to call in a nuke. I think you have to rack up. I need at least 50 kills 50 to kills. get that nuke, yeah. So at this rate, it's only going to take a about three hours to get all 50 kills. This Mythalar says hiya. What's up? You see him? You see a man? You see a man? Find a man. Okay, so wait, there's only there's three other people in this match with you, so it is possible some of the towers are not inhabited. Right. I'm just making sure of that before I go and before you move on. Yeah, cuz I know there's a guy over in this one. Oh, wait. Did somebody get shot off from that tower? Yeah. He's there. That is the whole thing with sniping. You just never know. So dude's over there. You might not be high enough to see him. He might be up a story. But like you have to get a better vantage point. I'm in a pretty good spot if he makes a move though. I can see like ev almost every floor of his. Yep. So if you go up the stairs to your right though, you can crouch and you box out that tower. So you don't have to worry about that dude. I think this tower is the only one that has a shot on me right now. So if that guy appears... But you gotta shoot other people to win. Well, I, don't I, think I you, need to shoot like three other people to win. I don't think you have a shot on where that dude is right now. Why don't we move up, move up the stairs a little bit? Because even if he's down below in the courtyard, you're too low to see it. Uh, yeah. Man to your right, took a shot. So yeah, like if we go to that wall there. Oh, you can see in that tower right now. Are my feet sticking out the back like in Battlefield? I don't think there's the Battlefield feet in this. So this is probably the most like patient game mode. I'd say just run up the stairs. You don't got a shot. You don't got a shot on nobody. Alright, well I'm gonna... So you got a pretty good view into that tower if somebody makes a move. 
I do sort of wish you were took looking right shot. at him. You he were looking right shot. at that man. Wherever he is, he took a shot. I do sort of wish they turned off the um, hint reticle for where your shot's gonna go in this mode. Make it more sporting. Yeah, make you really have to like guess your shot. You got a lot of Pokemon's conversations going on right now. R2 Web Race says Battlefield 3 Feet Syndrome. Say what? He's talking about the feet sticking out. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's always that question, do you knife the feet? Do you shoot the feet? Do you see four of the feet? Do you drop your bomb tech robot and <laughs> fry the feet? Alright, so if you grow prone in that stairwell, you may have a shot at somebody. You have to get three people. You got three minutes. You got four minutes to get three people to win. All right. See if everybody just went high. Oh, wow. You are totally exposed to like three towers right now. I told you. What did I tell you? No, just two right now. Two in opposite directions. Yeah, that's not good. I'm gonna get shot. You sort of need to be high up though to like see where the other dudes are. That's the problem. So just run around and draw their fire and then kill them. <laughs> I'm sure it'll work out. You are mega exposed, but you have no choice. You have two minutes and 45 seconds. I say run around until somebody takes a shot at you. Hopefully they miss. That is the only way. Oop, behind you. He's running, he's running. He's probably down low. He's probably super low, actually, if he is running. Not many places you can actually run. He's probably at the base of his tower. That's what I'm guessing. If you cozy up into that wall over there, you might have a line of sight on the base of his tower. Two minutes, sir. Two minutes to make a shot. Nope, somebody got a shot off. Yeah. Nope. Oh. oh! Damn. Uh, green camo, that answers that question. You do not have winter camo in this mode. Okay. Looks like we are getting towards the end of our FPS Friday stream. You wanna see if you can just jump off that thing? Just jump it, jump off. Uh, you joined us for Sniper Ghost Warrior 2 Siberian Strike DLC. Um, adds a couple hours of DLC in the single player campaign, adds two maps to multiplayer. One is a traditional snow map and the other one is a tower defense map you are now watching where you cannot cross the center line. Um, this is a sniping game, so if you are looking for a not sniping game, don't, don't do this game. But uh, if you like something with a slower pace, that's... <laughs> that will kill you like this if you are reckless, <laughs> then this is your game. Um, yeah. Well, so probably he and everybody else saw me jump out of the top story and uh, land. So feel free to give us suggestions for uh, FPS Friday next week. Yeah, what do people want to see next time? Um, I'm assuming we're going to do some Metro streaming earlier in the week. Mm -hmm. If we haven't gotten to it by Friday, which I really doubt, then we'll totally do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, send us your suggestions, and uh, thank you for joining us this Friday. Have a great weekend, everybody.